This is sample question paper of informatic practices or information practices and this is 2021 sample question paper released by CBSC part B section 1. So consider the following data frame class frame data frame class frame and we have to write the commands to add a new column activity to the data frame. So we already have a data frame class frame you can write and in this you have activity because the new column name should be activity then equals to what do you write here you have four rows one two three four so four rows will be you can write any name these are just for your reference swimming dancing cricket singing you, you can just change uh, any of these okay now we have add a new row with values 5 mridula x f 9.8 signs so this has to come like this one more row you are going to add and i will write just first first letters so this is st5 this will be 1 uh, mridula actually it should be 5 what i see here is roll number should be 5 it's a slight mistake so all this content have to be written Okay, so class frame dot loc. Now st5 because this is from st1. Now you have to write st5, st5, and then you have one mridula in tenth f 9.8 signs where number is there, number and where string is in the single quotes. Explain the following terms related to computer networks. So we have uh, have to expand, not explain. Sorry. So you just have to, these are the acronym type of question. So simple mail transfer protocol, post office protocol, file transfer protocol and voice over internet protocol. So these are the full form of these terms or acronyms. Let's study two health hazards related to excessive use of technology. See technology is everywhere. It's, it's a necessity now. But our body is not meant for it. Okay. So I will tell you my problem. I have been using this uh, you know, keyboard and mouse for more than 10 years now. When I click, click, click again and again and I type. So I, I am uh, facing a problem of RSI. Okay. This is my hand. And I have a problem here and in the joint also above that. So when I click through mouse, the first joint, it's paining it's paining too much this is rsi this is repetitive strain injury my neck muscle spondylitis eyes you know everything has suffered so now i am not living very normal life and all these problems i am facing which i cannot tell anybody these are minor problems but they are affecting my life because of the use of the technology right so let us see the answer the continuous use of devices and electronic devices first of all you know previously we had big screens now smartphones are quite small computer desktop laptops headphones in any way they are going to affect these are not natural anything which is not natural is going to provide or give you health result not provide it will impact so impact on jo bones and joints impact on so wrong posture or long hours of sitting in uncomfortable position this can cause the muscle or bone injury because when it goes long one or two days it doesn't matter body is well made for it but when it is repetitive impact on hearing i use headphone every time even after uh, while sleeping i use it so the if i increase the volume you see we used we used to go in a shadi and all these birthday parties and the voice is uh, above the decibel level. So it will create problem in our eardrum. Kaan ke parda. Impact on eyes and this is very very dangerous. See this, today kids you know they are taking uh, online classes. What do you think? What do you expect? See I have problem. I have a problem in my eyes. I cannot see properly. I, I just need to see uh, through glasses. And these glasses prolong use nose and ears i have extreme pain so i don't want any of you to have it 
because I am the I am the live example. I am talking about myself, right? So if you don't do exercise, you are not taking vitamin A properly. You are not extreme. You are subjected to extreme trains. Today, if you see mobile and uh, all these small devices, even the kids are using it for a long time, even for gaming. Sleep problem. See, we have a hormone called melatonin, and this helps us to sleep. Melatonin. So when the body is not going to release, because if you have a bright light, the computer devices have bright light, you, you won't be able to sleep properly. And there is a you know, study that eight hours of sleep is necessary for every human being. Minimum. If you don't sleep for eight hours minimum, you will always be pro having problem five hours, six hours. You know, you might have heard about jet lag, etc. Priyanka is using her internet connection to book a flight ticket. This is a classic example of leaving a trail of web activities carried by her. What do we call this type of activity? What is the risk involved by such kind of activity? So Priyanka is doing what? She is booking a ticket, a flight ticket. Now she has to go to the internet. She has to open some website. Okay, she has to work on browser or some mobile app. Okay. So these, uh, after that, she has to uh, do payment. After that, email might have come. Messages might have come on, his mob on her mobile. So all these are the digital footprints. She is leaving the trail. So we are calling it as web, web uh, footprint or digital footprint. Whenever we walk, there's a footprint. So it leaves a trail. Okay, evidence. So the risk involves is it includes websites we visit emails. If you go to wrong web, uh, website, some phishing is done. Okay, if you are dealing with HTTP, not HTTPS. So IP number, location, other your specific and personal details are shared, knowingly, unknowingly. So those people who are sitting in between, they are bad people, bad guys. They can misuse and exploit you. Coming to section number two of this one. Okay, let's go ahead. Consider two objects X and Y. Please remember X is a list. X is a list and Y is a series. X is a list and Y is a series. And both have values 20, 40, 90, 110. So now remember X is list, Y is series. Both have value this one. What will be the output of the following two statement? Considering that the above objects have been created already, right? So this object is already created. We just have to see what is this X into two and Y into two. So when you do X into two, you are dealing with list. What are the result? Because it is a result, it will be multiplied. That is. Same list will be multiplied number of times you have multiplied. That is 20, 40, 90, 110 was there. When you multiply it by 2, it will be uh, written or placed twice. Okay, even if you multiply it by 3, it will be one, one more time. So there will be a list of how many times that this list will be repeated. Double, it's doubles. Now coming to y cross 2, because it is a series. So since it is a series, the number will be multiplied by 2. Number, that is in series we always have index 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So what will come when you multiply this series with 2? 20 into 2 is 40, 40 into 2 is 80, 90 into 2 is 180, and 110 into 2 is 220. Okay, this is the result. What do you mean by identity theft? Explain with the help of an example. Identity theft. So this is basically a crime. I'll tell you an example. Uh, if I masquerade you, if I portray as you, if I take all your details and I have a bad attitude or something uh, mischief in my mind. So I will use your identity. And I can do whatever I want. It may be good or bad. So it's a crime. Identity theft is a crime of obtaining the personal or financial information. This is important. 
financial information for example for facebook we'll see uh, personal information in some uh, credit card debit card it's financial information and if it is being masqueraded used or employed by another person and the person sole purpose is to take your identity and make transaction or do say inappropriate remarks comments bad name bad words in your name it's posting something or asking money from somebody else these are identity theft let us take an example there are two two uh, kids and these two kids are twin so alex has some work and he is using internet he didn't uh, log off and he sleeps he he wanted to send the email to many friends morning his twin brother flex because alex and flex are twins so say if uh, even if you have higher security that is face recognition flex twin so the mobile or the system will open now he will use or he might use the open browser email and he may send send something to his friend that may include fem females also in appropriate messages messages teachers etc alex won't won't send it anyway shararat flex will do something called identity theft what do you understand by net etiquettes explain any two such etiquettes net etiquettes we call it as in short net etiquettes see everywhere we need we need to follow etiquette i'll give an example okay now whenever you go to uh, your teacher what do you say hello teacher how are you good evening teacher like this good evening ma'am do you say aur bhai kya hal hai aur bhai kya tak chal raha hai how are you how are you hey buddy you don't talk like this so this is actually you're talking to him or her basically on net you are only using a digital platform to communicate but basically both are on other side that is you are actually talking to someone some 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 person actual person so you cannot show your uh, you know if you are not uh, having etiquette in your personal life that is what you are going to show here so these are net etiquettes you have to follow same as uh, refers to the proper manners and behavior we need to exhibit while being online and that should uh, also demonstrate what you are in actual life net etiquettes and these are the you know personal things i told you but there are actual things also like no copyright violation and no cyber bullying no copyright violation means if someone has done something he is creation or he is owner don't th don't steal it don't be a thief if you have ever taken it either ask him her or you can give the credit also for example this sample question paper this is by cbsc i told you earlier i have no copyright on this content i have nothing to do with this okay this is all being uh, by cbsc right i just i'm just helping you to to understand this so no copyright violation so whoever owner creator they are working hard they are earning their livelihood through this and you are misusing them or say you are using it without even asking them okay if you ask them i i i i think most of the people will give you permission cyber bullying what you do whenever you come to twitter or facebook you become different person you start insulting people for example if you have a car and if it hits another car you will start fighting but if the other car is uh, of your brother or anybody you know you won't fight so on cyber bullying basically insulting intimidating uh, spreading the rumors or giving bad names or words using uh, you know slang language threats online giving threat threats or posting someone's like females especially personal information someone is already a victim and you are uh, posting the this information and you are trying to ridicule or make fun of someone who is a victim even if you are from some other party or have some other thought don't do it don't do it just be just be what you are in actual life right okay this is a graph question and i think we need to take it in the next discussion because it will have some uh, discussion we have means it will take some discussion time so
we'll take it in the next discussion okay bye bye take care